it's burning. It literally feels like somebody took a frying pan that was hot and smacked me in the face. Hey everybody, we're back if you're new. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon. Click that subscribe button, please. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. Today I'm going to get a photo facial. In this video, I'm going to try to show you the whole process of when they do it or some of the process while they're actually doing it, as well as follow up like the after it's done, the day after, two days after, up to probably a week so we can see some before and after results. Results. I came across this on Groupon and I probably wouldn't normally buy things from Groupon like this just because sometimes you hear bad things but this was only $40 and from the same company that actually did my Botox so I've dealt with them before and I know the quality of their work regularly one session would cost about 200 something dollars so for $40 I was like yes I already had one appointment with them apparently because I thought I was going in to have it done but apparently it was a consultation you have a consultation first so they can look at your skin type and let you know that you shouldn't use certain products before you have this done because it can burn your skin um, so I already did that and today is the actual facial day from what I've learned about these type of facials it's called a photo facial because they use like a flashing light type of device it's supposed to smooth your skin make your pores smaller all of the stuff that we would pretty much want. The lady that I did speak to said that I would probably need more sessions than one, but I only bought one on Groupon. They did have a two pack offer for like $80, but I didn't buy that one because I wasn't sure if I wanted it and I probably should have bought it, but I didn't, so. We're just gonna get one done and we're gonna see how that goes. Also, I wanna add, if you can see this red spot, I don't normally have red spots on my face. When I was making breakfast for the kids this morning, um, some butter popped up and it burnt me a little. So just so you know, I don't normally get these type of red spots. It's not like a normal skin issue that I do have, but I do have huge pores in here. Um, and I've got some dark spots. I'm hoping that this one session will help and at least minimize the pores and reduce some of the dark spots. But I don't know because I've never had one of these type of face or any type of real facial other than like massage cleansing done. But we're going to head there in about an hour or two, and I will see you when we get there. Okay, here's some of the footage from when she was doing the IPL. Sorry, it does not look great, but I couldn't see anything. Okay, my face feels like it's kind of burning. Oh my God, sorry. It's okay. Um, how long does that burning feeling last? Now, that can be anywhere from 12 to 48 hours. Okay. It's going to feel very similar to a sunburn. Okay. Um... Is my skin is my skin gonna get like flaky or most likely yes as okay. those melanocytes come to the surface and they okay. can press over and then they'll eventually flake off on their own. Okay. Alright, so now I'm gonna go above the lips so when you're ready Oh just... I feel like that's gonna hurt. It might. <laughs> I feel like that one's gonna be rough. Okay, I'm so ready. Press your lips together when you're ready. Okay, here we go. Okay, I need a break from that one. Okay. Holy, holy crap. You know, when you get your eyebrows waxed and you do your lip, my lip's always a lot more sensitive. Yes. Okay. Definitely a sensitive spot. Okay, okay, I'm ready. Okay. All right, little break. Okay. How are you doing? Oh, okay. I'm okay. Okay. Just, just give me a sec. You got it. Whoa. Yeah, that, that shit's burning. It's, I feel like it's gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's, I feel like it's gonna work. Um, These are great treatments. Oh, wow, I was not expecting this. Okay. All right, so now I'm moving down to the chin. Okay. All okay. right. Are... Oh, that is, that is, I feel like the other YouTubers lied to me because I swear to God they made it seem like not like what was happening is happening. You know what I'm saying? Like yes. they made it seem like it was just like, oh yeah, this is, it's just some light. Dude, that is a lot more than light. Holy hell. All right, so I'm just removing the gel. Okay. And I'm going to put a serum on you and then a moisturizer with SPF. Holy. Just bear with you. 
I can't even see right now. Is that normal that I feel? Yes, those are, those like, goggles are very, they're occlusive goggles. So think of it as when you walk out of a movie theater after the darkness, just your eyes adjusting and accommodating. That was uh, painful. Now remember, IPL stands for intense pulse light. Intense pulse light. So it is aptly named, that's for sure. That is intense. <laughs> that's intense, people. That is intense. You did so great, though. I did I did so great. You did so great helping you. You did great. Oh, oh my you God. got it. No problem. No, you're amazing. Thank you. Wow. This double chin is pretty unattractive. <laughs> wow, that is. So when do you see the final results? So, you know, there's going to be some variants, but typically within 14 days. It is 1.30 now. I had my appointment at 11.30. I saw them probably around 12 and we started shortly after that. Y'all, I did not go upstairs to film any of this because I'm just going to be so honest with you. Um, I am in a lot of pain. When she was doing it, it was painful. I had no clue that it was going to be that painful. It felt like somebody was taking something really hot and just psh, like when she would flash it, it would go psh, and it would just burn and then there would be like a bright light that I could kind of see. Not really see, I could, my eyes were closed. I could see like a flash of light almost, but it would burn right there for that second. So it was very, very painful. Very, very painful. Right after, shortly after I got out, I, I came out of there, I went down to the car and within about five minutes of being in the car, this started to all form and um it just burned my husband ran into starbucks got me a starbucks and a cup full of ice and by the time we got home i had used the entire cup of ice all over my face like pulled the ice out my clothes were soaking wet and i was just rubbing ice on my face i have an ice pack that i have been using um this y'all look this looks so bad it's so painful i'm hoping that it gets better um you know in the next few days and then it looks amazing but i will be honest as of right now with the amount of pain that i felt and that i feel i would not do this again unless i had some kind of like vicodin or something just being honest like if i had random vicodin left over from something then maybe i would think about doing this again but without any kind of pain medication this is a no-go for me to ever do this again like not. Okay, everybody. So it has now been 24 hours since my last check-in. This is what we're looking like. Probably easier to see than um, the last clip because I do have my ring light and everything on. I came up here because I figured it would be easier for you to see. But I will say about an hour after that last clip, the pain did start to subside a lot. I will. I did take some Motrin when I got home. I did. I forgot to mention that, but I did take some Motrin when I got home because I was clearly in a lot of pain, but about an hour after that last clip, it started to subside and just kind of felt tingly. It wasn't painful, but it was tingly in a way that you, you still don't want to feel that, but it wasn't painful. So that was a plus. Last night, I did not wash my face in the shower because I take hot showers. I got out. I used cold water to wash my face. I used a mild soap and I normally would use toners and, and other things. I didn't use any of that. I did use this. This is a Dr. Brand um sleep recovery mask i don't know if we're focusing here but um it's hydrobiotic recovering sleeping mask this is actually pretty pricey but you can find it at tj maxx marshall's ross places like that but when i do use this this really helps give my skin that that moisture and hydration that it needs so that's why i chose to use this it's also doesn't have like chemicals and stuff like that so i chose this and then when i got up this morning i washed my face again and i used a vitamin c serum which i do every day anyway and she used a vitamin C serum when she finished. And then I used this Murad Hydration um, Perfecting Day Cream with uh, SPF 30 in it. I use this, which I, I also do this daily, but um, she put an SPF on me after I left. So I use that, but I will say I used more of this than I would normally use just because I really feel like 
I feel like my skin is, is, I just feel like it needs it. This looks so, so bad. It looks, it looks like I took dirt and I rubbed it on my face. Um, I really did not think this through because as a content creator, I don't have any other videos planned and I can't really film anything looking like this. I, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel grainy or rough but i think that's because it's so hydrated right now i'm hoping that it will start to flake off soon i did scratch my face last night while i was sleeping i guess i had an itch and it woke me up because it started burning so um that's not cool it doesn't it just feels honestly it just feels regular but you can see where there are some spots that were clearly a spot before or a very big pore and now it just looks darker so I don't know if that stuff is coming to the surface. Uh, when I talked to my mom she said oh well, did you have a lot of problems here and I said yeah I kind of I did actually I had some raised bumps I had a lot of dark spots right in here and she said that might be why. When she got her facial done um, they went over certain areas more because those areas were worse and she ended up having kind of blotchy skin after. For me, the lady went like, she did zap, 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 and then zap, zap, zap. So she evenly did it over my entire face. So I don't anticipate that being a problem. I feel like this looks weird. It almost looks like nothing was done right there. Um, although I'm sure something was, but it's just weird that this is just like one random weird patch. But I feel like I feel like maybe this patch was a little bit lighter on me always, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You would think I would know my own face, but I, would, I don't know, actually. This was always a trouble spot for me, too, with dark spots and some raised spots starting to form. Um, so I don't know if that's why these are a little worse. My forehead never had any, had issues before for me, and this looks pretty bad. Luckily, I guess the, the upside of a pandemic is that I will be wearing a mask when I go out, and I'll probably just put a hat on. Um to cover all of this when I do have to go out because it does look really, really bad. So I would say as of right now, just over 24 hours of having it done, if you plan on having this done and you have things to do, probably postpone them. But everybody's skin is different and the other people that I watched, theirs did not look like this at all. Theirs looked theirs didn't look great like you could tell they had something done but it didn't look like this the lady that did mine also did mention that the machine they use is very very high powered compared to a lot of others so that could be the reason but i'm going to stop rambling i will check in tomorrow and i will keep the rest of the check-ins pretty short because now you have all the information we just need to see how this is going to turn out and hopefully it turns out nicely but i will check in tomorrow Okay, y'all, so it has been two days since we had this done, since we, since I had this done. Um, I zoomed you in so you could see a little bit closer. It's not flaking up yet. It does feel itchy if I rub my face or if I touch it. Um, it's not really sore. I do know that this has always been a problem area, so you'll see some spots that are a little bit darker, and those were actually dark spots on my face. I'm hoping that those just kind of flake up and then on my nose there's not really any burning or anything like not burning but any scabbing or peeling um i don't know but my nose isn't as sensitive as the rest of my face is here i had some spots you can clearly see them um i don't think that those are going to go away i think they're just going to be there i don't think that whatever we did was enough or that she may not have gotten right here because of the goggles and the um toilet paper or paper towel, whatever it was. Here you see some dark spots. I'm hoping that these flake up because these were already dark spots that I had. I'm hoping that those flake up. But so far, this is what we look like today. Okay, it is day three after having the facial done and the skin is starting to peel off. You can see here where this, where it's already started to peel. It's kind of like pink under there. Here also it looks it looks pretty bad, honestly. Um, it is getting itchy. I try not to scratch, but I'll catch myself rubbing and I will stop myself up here. I feel like it's more itchy. Um, it feels textured. It definitely is starting to feel textured. Here, not so much, but where it's starting to flake up, 
it's definitely feeling texture. I am staying moisturized and doing all the same things that I have been doing for the past few days and I will check in tomorrow. Okay, so today is day four and I have you zoomed in so you can see there is clearly a lot of changes happening. A lot of the stuff, the skin, the burnt skin has flaked off, but you can see a clear difference in the pigmentation. I don't know how long this will take to catch up to this, so that's a slight concern because I do not want to have blotchy skin. I did try to put some makeup on last night because I needed to film a video and it actually looked horrible. You could tell this area had already been kind of flaking off. You could tell here that it was significantly lighter and then the dark areas just clearly looked really bad. But um, because this light area still showed very light and, and discolored with foundation on, that's a little bit of a concern for me, I'm not gonna lie. But some of the dark spots that I had here, I had, I had major dark spots here. Not major, but this was my major area. Um, some of the dark spots have kind of scraped off, so that is actually great, but this is what we're looking like now. I feel like by tomorrow, the rest of this stuff will probably have flaked off by the time I check in tomorrow night, um, which is a plus, and then we'll just be waiting for this pigmentation to come back in, hopefully. I don't know, but I'll check in tomorrow. Okay, so it is day five, and I will be honest with you, I am kind of concerned. I started looking on YouTube to see See if there were other brown women or women of color who have had this done and I'm not really seeing any which is kind of alarming to me because our skin needs to be treated a little bit differently but what I am seeing is that the other women who have had this done they don't have major um, like burnt spots. They have small spots all over their face similar to like freckles and I have major spots so you don't really see the discoloration. And I think even if they did have major spots because they're white women it wouldn't be as noticeable as it is on me. So um, I am concerned about the blotchiness especially because these are pretty big spots here here, 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 down here, over here. These are major um, spots and it's gonna take longer than a few days for the pigmentation to come back to those spots. So I'm honestly, and I like the spa that I went to. I've gone to them for other things and the woman who helped me was actually really, really nice, but I don't think it was supposed to look like this, honestly. Um, and I feel like the recovery process of this for my skin is going to take weeks before the pigmentation comes back, almost like a regular scar or a burn or so something along those lines. And because these are so big, these are pretty major spots, I'm actually gonna have to go and buy some extremely full coverage foundation. I plan on doing that tomorrow actually because these, these spots, they're gonna last for a long time. So, um, I'm concerned, but this is, this is what we look like today. And, um, I'm just, I'm honestly kind of worried and feel like maybe I really, let's, I, I'm going to be honest. I feel like maybe I fucked up. <laughs> I feel like maybe I just really screwed up here. Just, um, and maybe it's just me and my skin. I don't know, but I know that these blotchy areas, it didn't look like that for anybody else that I watched on YouTube, not major spots like this. So it is kind of alarming. I'm not gonna lie, I am very concerned because I feel like this is going to take a long time to heal and that doesn't make me happy at all. But I will say that some of the dark spots that I did have, they did flake off, which is great, but this is not great. So I'll check in tomorrow, but I don't think we'll see much of a difference, honestly, other than the rest of the stuff flaking off. But this pigmentation is not, it's not going to come back by tomorrow or the next couple days. So I'll check in tomorrow, but honestly, I'm not feeling good about this process right now. Okay, y'all, I did not check in yesterday or the day before, so it has actually been one week and one day since I had it done. Overall, I think my skin looks brighter. My pores are significantly smaller. Clearly, we have some blotchy areas, more so up here. Uh, you see them here and here. It is starting to look significantly better. 
Would I do this again, even if it wasn't painful? No, I would not because I don't like the blotchiness and I feel like it will take a few weeks before this actually evens out. I don't know if it went wrong. Everybody else that I watched on YouTube, theirs did not look like this. I don't necessarily think that it was the spa that did it, so I don't want to talk down on them because they are a very, very nice spa. I've gone to them for other treatments, and I will continue to go for those other treatments um, in the future, but I will not get this done from them or from anyone else again not just because of the pain because it did not feel like a rubber band snapping it felt like a burn um so not just because of the pain but because of the blotchiness everywhere i go we have to wear a mask so you know i don't i don't look stupid just wearing a mask for no reason but i also have to wear a hat because this just looks really bad and i don't like the look of it also just being a youtuber i'm not gonna continue to go on camera and keep looking like this so i'm like feel like I'm obligated to wear makeup so I would not do this again something less invasive or less serious uh maybe like a chemical peel or something but as far as like the laser type of thing I probably would not do that again just because I don't think that fits well with my skin type overall though this is what we are stuck with after a week and one day um so do I, do I love my results? I might be happy with them um, in a week or two weeks once this doesn't look like this. Um, but overall, I wouldn't do it again. So that was my experience with the IPL Photo Facial. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, click the bell, and all those good things. Bye!